So here I'm drawing up some skulls. Um, I used a, a charcoal block. I used a charcoal block because I just kind of wanted to get like the broad shapes and I guess like some of like the broad shading and stuff like that without having to get into like tiny little details. Um, I was originally going to like use the charcoal pencil more, but then I opted to do the block because I felt like it kind of made things simpler and it didn't allow me to try and focus on all the tiny details, especially when I haven't even gotten the whole base on, you know, the baseline or the whole structure of it on paper yet. And it was kind of more fun as well, um, you know, just to be able to like look at it, I guess from a broader perspective, right, when you use something that's a lot bigger, maybe more comfortable or unclunky or clunky, sorry, then it kind of allows you to focus more on all of like the uh, the bigger aspects of the picture rather than all the little tiny minute details, right? Um, I use a chamois cloth to kind of like put in some type of tone or gradient and I used a blending stump um, to just blend in some of the colors and whatnot. Well, I say colors, but it's all the same color really, just to kind of like blend in some stuff. Um, so, you know, just practicing, just getting some work in with the charcoal, uh, application and, and I've been enjoying charcoal. I've been doing it uh, a lot more lately. I feel like, um, because it's just like, I don't know, maybe it's easier if it's like comforting or something like that, but it's pretty interesting just to do charcoal and just to do like, you know, black and white drawings, you know, just grayscale drawings. And, you know, when I put you know, whatever image that I'm using in grayscale, and then I translate that back into uh, the physical world, right, I guess, you know, the paper, it's kind of like, oh, wow, yeah, I can definitely see how this is like the same thing. This is definitely similar and whatnot. Um, so I think it's very important, like, you know, if you're going to be using reference when you're drawing and you're using charcoal or you're just going to be in black and white, that it's good to maybe put whatever you're drawing in grayscale so you can really see all of like the different tones and values and the shades and whatnot um and how the colors i say colors but how all of the different tones and shades kind of like blend into one another or how they lead into one another or how some points are more soft soft and some points are more round things like that and just kind of like allows you to focus on what's more important rather than like all the little colors and blemishes and details and all these little things right that we get caught up on that uh, that kind of stall progress um I, oh i'd like to also mention i am uh, i made a appearance on another person's channel uh his it's it's his art channel is i say art channel but his youtube channel is geo um i'll put everything in the description i'll put sorry about the noise some people are doing construction at my neighbor's house uh there so he has been posting like podcasts and a lot of stuff where he like has conversations and whatnot with people that um are very like talented people that are very creative people that are very i guess conscious and self-aware and well aware of things and i believe like you know although he um you know he hasn't had as much experience on the platform of youtube he's definitely like you know, going to do very well if he keeps things consistent and keeps things going the way he does because he has a great mind, honestly. Um, and of course, I'll put the podcast on camera. I'll put like the thumbnail on camera and stuff like that. And I'll also put like the link in the description to his channel and to uh, the video so you guys can check that out if you want. If you want to hear me talk, you know, in a more long, long form style like uh having a conversation with him and whatnot and bouncing ideas and questions back and forth on one another uh, i had did this podcast back um i believe it was earlier this month it was earlier this month or possibly last month i think and um you know he's been able to upload it and like he's a one-man team at the moment so you know of course it's just him kind of like editing and sound mixing stuff and whatnot and you know he's also in school as well uh, college, we, we go to the same college, so that's how we know each other, and, um, he's just, like, you know, really, just really trying to, like, get out there and just succeed as a person, and it's great to, like, have that type of people, those type of people who are, like, conscious and self-aware, and they want things in life, they don't want to just be stagnant, and they don't want to stay in the same place, especially at a young age, right, 
because so many young people don't really aspire to do a damn thing. They don't really aspire or think of stuff that they want to achieve. Now, I mean, I oh, no, I don't think that's true. I think most people do, but most people don't act on it. Most people don't act like as if there is something that they want to achieve, that there's a higher goal they want to achieve. And going to, I feel like, a school where there's many people that are actually doing what they want to do and then surrounding myself by people who want to even push themselves even further is a great thing. So it's, it's best to, like, have great friends and great acquaintances that are willing to push you forward and are pushing themselves forward relentlessly and they want to do nothing but get progress from their life and then also see you grow and whatnot, right? And I feel like um, Giovanni, that's his YouTube name, <laughs> I'm trying not to say his actual name. He allows that to happen. You know, he he's he's like it, it almost feels like as if like him and us meeting was like a destined thing, right? Like for him to have all the ideas and the thoughts that he has and all the aspirations that he wants and then for me to be able to like easily reciprocate that and and give advice and be able to talk to him and be able to receive stuff. It's just like a it's it's a great friendship. Um, already that I feel like is starting to sprout and I feel like he's going to do very well in life right and it's not like he's the only friend I have like that at my uh at my college um there's like multiple people there's multi like maybe not the whole school but there's a good amount of people that I surround myself with at that school that just allow for a much you know uh a much better growth mindset and allow for just I guess just for us to all like be able to progress you know and be able to like see ourselves progress along with one another you know even if we're doing like different completely different things right uh it's, it's great to kind of like form what's called like a mastermind group and um i've been reading this book called thinking grow rich by napoleon hill right great a great author a great writer and he has something that uh that he calls a mastermind group and so it's basically just like you surround yourself by people who want to have who have like similar goals and aspirations, similar desires, who might work in the same or who might aspire to work in the same field as you. Um, maybe not like, you know, all of, of like being 100 percent the same exact thing, but where you guys want to grow and to push each other and want to bring collaborative ideas and creative thoughts to form that group. Now, this isn't something that you know, we all do intentionally. Um, we, you know, you might already be a part of some type of group where like you had your close friends or people who are close to you are striving for, you know, to be the absolute best. And that also allows for you to strive to be the absolute best, right? And this is something we don't do uh, intentionally. This is something a lot of us will get into because it's just kind of human nature to surround ourselves with the like-minded, right? When you start dropping bad habits, um, and start adopting new ones, you'll notice that you're going to get new friends or you're going to end up surrounding yourself or attracting people that are like-minded and who also want to have a growth mindset. Or you're going to end up being able to kind of persuade other people um, who might have not ever thought in those types of ways to better themselves, right? Maybe not verbally, but through um, physical action. You know, they see that you're benefiting. They see that you're going through all these great things and they'll end up wanting to kind of like join you along that path, right? And all of that stuff takes time, you know, and you also have to kind of like get off uh, your ass in order to find those people that are similar to, you know, what you want to go for in life, what you want to achieve in life, right? Um, if you surround yourself by people who drink and party all the time, and spend their money on frivolous things, then you're going to end up like that, right? Even if you feel like you have strong determination and willpower and stuff like that, it's going to be easy to just kind of like fall into the like-minded, you know, at least the like-minded that we uh, surround ourselves with, right? So it's great to be able to go out and to find people, even if they're like some like, I don't know, Facebook group or internet community or whatever, that want to allow for themselves to be better you know even if you if it, you have a hard time finding that out in the physical world although i believe it'd be way more beneficial to have these people to be surrounded by these types of people in real life rather than through discord or um i don't know facebook groups or reddit you know dis uh reddit uh whatever they call it a uh, sub something whatever um so 
again, I don't know, find those people, man. Or sometimes naturally, just naturally, as we are going on a greater path in life, those people just kind of pop up. They, they just kind of show up. You know, they, they just kind of end up being there. You know, once you start to shift your consciousness, once you start to shift the way you think, and once you start to actually live the life that is going to be fulfilling to you, those people that will just skyrocket you all the way up to the top and then they'll be able to skyrocket too and everybody can benefit, they'll just end up showing up in your life, right? And that's, that's just a beautiful thing. But yeah, peace out.